hi guys welcome to my youtube channel where i share skincare tips to help you improve your skin and get your best skin possible so i created this channel because throughout my adult years i've dealt with hyperpigmentation and dark spots and it's very difficult to find information on what to use to help you improve your skin i've done tons of research and through my research i found out so much and i decided to create this channel to help women like me to find solutions so i've been i'm going to be sharing lots of information on how to improve your skin and get your best skin possible on this channel so if this sounds like something you'll be interested in then definitely subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my other videos in this video i'm going to be sharing my morning skincare routine using three products and this routine as well as products used in this routine has really helped clear my hyperpigmentation as well as my dark spots so if this sounds like something you'll be interested in then you want to watch this video till the end let's get right into it the first step in any skincare routine is a cleanse if it's at night you want to do a double cleanse i have a video on how to double cleanse so do check that out this is a morning routine so i did a gentle cleanse and i did that in the bathroom when i did my shower already i used a cream cleanser that is supposed to cleanse your skin as well as hydrate your skin without stripping it you want to do a gentle cleanse in the morning because you already did a double cleanse at night and in the morning your skin is not really dirty but you still want to do a cleanse because a cleanse is a foundation for an effective routine so whatever you're putting on your skin works better if it's on clean skin so it absorbs better into your skin if you're applying it on clean skin whereas if you're applying it on a not so clean skin then it's just sitting on the surface of your skin and it's probably not going to do anything i did my cleansing step already and i used the clear and hydrate cleanser i'm gonna link this in the details below the next step which is my second step is to use a hydrating toner this is an optional step but it's very beneficial so you can skip it but if you really want to go all in for your skin then i definitely recommend a hydrating toner this hydrating toner is from pca skin i'm gonna link it in the in the description box it has prime rose oil which is high in fatty acids fatty acid protects your skin from trans epidermal water loss which ages your skin pretty much this toner also is rich in antioxidant which protects your skin from environmental pollution and free radicals free radicals is the enemy so you want to do everything to make sure you're protecting your skin from free radicals here's my second step i just put a few drops of this toner on my palm and i just press it into my face this toner also helps to stabilize your ph it restores your ph balance your skin ph next step is the vitamin c step this is the treatment step it's the protection step in every routine you want to make sure you're putting a treatment step and the reason i like this vitamin c is because it is potent it is stable it has just five in ingredients it is straight to the point when it comes to vitamin c there are a bunch of vitamin c brands out there but vitamin c is very difficult to stabilize and that's why you just keep using it and you're not sure it's working there's only three brands that has been able to stabilize alloscopic acid which is the most studied most evidence-based form of vitamin c and that's skin silicone obagi and medicaid talking about the alloscopic acid there are other forms of vitamin c that are good as well but alloscopic acid is like the most so, most studied and it's pretty much the most effective form of vitamin c there's the thd as well and that works really well especially if you have sensitive skin i've used that before and i'm going to talk about it in another video yeah i started using this vitamin c in may and i've noticed a tremendous improvement in the appearance of my pigmentation my skin looks a little bit a lot more clearer since i started using it and how i use this vitamin c is just put a few drops as you can see i'm almost out of it already so i just put a few drops on my palm and i press it into my face all over my face i even take it underneath my eyes and my neck so yeah and the skin absorbs it pretty well like it doesn't just sit on the skin it disappears into the skin immediately so yeah i like it so if you're in the market for a good vitamin c definitely try these i'm almost out of it so i'm going to be ordering another one maybe go up i know there's a 20 percent, so i'm probably going to be trying that 
we need to get this glue guys so if there's anything that is gonna work i'm definitely trying it and i'm definitely gonna let you guys know how it goes so the next step which is my final step is using this moisturizer so i'm combining my moisturizing step and my sunscreen step into one just because the weather is really hot right now i don't want to do a moisturizer and a sunscreen so i got a tinted moisturizer with an spf of 46 which is a really good amount of spa and i'm going to be doing double layers of this moisturizer just to ensure that i'm getting good amount of moisture and as well as a good amount of sun protection so i'm just gonna go one two and try to cover my face my entire face with this and the reason for spreading it like this is just to make sure that it goes, it gets everywhere on your face, under your eyes, your eyelids. You wanna, you wanna try to protect every part of your face. You wanna put it around your eyes because the sun can cause the surrounding of your eyes to appear darker. So those areas need protection as well. I like this moisturizer because it doesn't leave that much of a white cast. When it comes to white cast, do not worry because you have your foundation and your powder to cover it. But yeah, this SPF sits pretty well on my face. Because I skipped the moisturizer instead and I'm using this tinted moisturizer with an SPF of 46, as my moisturizer i'm gonna go in one more time so the first step was my moisturizing step using an spf the second step is my spf step using the same spf so i'm gonna go like this again and this is just to ensure that i'm getting a good amount of coverage because when it comes to spf you're supposed to apply half a teaspoon And keep in mind, I'm not even going out. If I were going out, I'm going to probably be putting a lot more because I know I'm going to cover it with makeup. But because I'm going to be indoor, I think this is okay. So you're supposed to use half a teaspoon for your face and your neck. So how I do it is I do my face first. Then I go back in and do my neck. This moisturizer says oil free, but it still looks a little bit shiny. But I think that's because of the octazonate in it. Octazonate is a chemical sun filter. So this moisturizer is a mineral and chemical moisturizer. Sorry, a mineral and chemical sunscreen. So it has the zinc outside 12% and it has octazonate 7.5. The octazonate is a chemical filter and the zinc outside is a mineral sunscreen ingredient so yeah this is what it looks like i'm just gonna be doing two more pumps for my neck thanks for watching guys if you learned something in this video please smash the like button and do subscribe if you haven't already thank you bye